Within the last 10 years, in our research projects, we have had more than 100 research collaborating partners from many countries in Africa, Asia, uh, North America, Australia, and of course, Europe. For example, the Gambia, Singapore, China, you name it. My name is Alex Luzinska, I'm professor of psychology. I work at SWPS University. For 20 years, I'm leading Care Beef Center, which is a center for applied research on health behavior and health. Since our center has over 20 years, we have collaborated with over 20 researchers who are working at our center. We have conducted over 15 projects that have obtained funding both nationally and internationally. The centre is engaged in five projects which are funded by European Union and these projects are trying to tackle the key issues which are relevant currently in the world, such as obesity. For example, we are interested in developing policies that target populations uh, that are underserved and therefore they are more likely to have problems with obesity issues. The Co-Create project, which was funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 program, involved international partners from several European countries, including Poland, to prevent overweight and obesity among adolescents. Within the project, we were working, for instance, with the World Obesity Federation, which is the only global organization focused exclusively on obesity prevention and management. Hello, I'm Dominika and here at the Kaobeck Center I'm most responsible for managing Active Action Project. And Active Action is a project funded by the National Science Center in Poland. It's a project that focuses on finding and analyzing psychosocial determinants of physical activity and sedentary behaviors. All the participants involved in the project are asked to participate in accelerometry measurements. And using accelerometry allows us to capture one's objective physical activity time, which is far more accurate than relying on self-reports simply. The Better For You project, founded by the EU's Horizon Europe Research and Innovation Programme, aims to prevent and tackle overweight and obesity across the lifespan. With the assistance of AI technologies, we will analyze metabolic, behavioral and genetic determinants of overweight and obesity and create a personalized intervention program to offer tailored health recommendations based on unique qualities and identified needs of individuals. Working with experts from universities, institutes, small to medium enterprises, NGOs and other stakeholders, we will be a part of a multidisciplinary team bringing along 28 partners from 21 European countries, Australia and Israel. Another project that we are currently engaged is called Obesity. This European Union funded project targets populations living in undeserved communities. So for example, the communities that have problems with transportation exclusion. So they are living far away from any major cities. My research has shown that there is a vicious circle between centered behavior and depressive symptoms among the individuals in the diets. This means that the more time one person spends sitting, the more symptoms of depression the other person experiences. In Like a Pro project, uh, we as health psychologists focus on psychosocial factors of alternative protein consumption. We research what makes people accept alternative proteins more and what makes people want to buy them and change their diet to more sustainable. We have already conducted one meta review on the topic and two systematic reviews with teams from other European countries like Norway, Italy, Germany, 
or Greece. In our consortium, there are people who are working right now on creating completely new products from alternative proteins that will be soon accessible in stores for anyone. So I'm very happy that as a doctoral student, I have the opportunity to work in a project with such practical applications. What is most important for our team is to be engaged in research which are not only interesting, but first and foremost, meaningful and resulting in change of individuals' health and the health of the planet.